Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 31 of Darwell20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Expert Mode. Ready to rock and roll today. Uh, I've got a few things prepped. Uh, so first off, I prepared all this stuff, which is needed to make an induction smelter. Uh, look at that, it's ready to go. Uh, minus one piece, which I'm going to make on camera because I haven't made it yet before. Uh, but all these other things I've made mostly before. So reinforced blast bricks, I just had to make another couple blast bricks, which remember I tore down the like automation machine I did, but I just manually did it because I needed two, so like not a big deal, right? So I just placed a deployer down here so that I can manually do any deployment work that needs to happen. Easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy. So with that said, uh, all I need to do now is make some advanced components, which speaking of manual deployment work, uh, redstone pearl uh, from create teleporters is a pearl and a redstone dust. Seems easy enough to me. So a pearl and a redstone, and that's pretty cool. And then I believe you, sir, will need some fuel. Hooray. And then we're going to need a sturdy sheet. And then there's my redstone pearl. And now my advanced integral components is just a diamond, which again, we can make more of if we need, right? Um, and then it's going to be a sturdy sheet, this dude, and then that dude. Hooray. We've got advanced components. Neat. We've got an induction smelter, which is a quest complete. Hooray, quest completions. Boom, now we got power. Sweet. Um, and from here, we can go the route of silver and gold and get my first Electrum. So remember, Electrum was like, there's a few things that need Electrum. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head what they are, but I know there's a few things that need Electrum uh, and charged Electrum for that matter. Um, so now we can do all that, right? That's pretty cool. And hey, we get Electrum coins for that, nice. Hey, remember we can get like more Cursed Earth type stuff if we need. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, and then we should have no problem um, charging up some Electrum, right? And getting uh, getting some charged, overcharged Electrum. Ooh, that gets me a charged porter. I actually wouldn't mind that ad. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. I think I can use this to get Alchemy Catalysts, by the way. Which is also cool, because Alchemy Catalysts can make like all kinds of good stuff. We can also turn blocks of crystallized mineral into diamonds using an Alchemy Catalyst and what looks like a decent amount, maybe an eighth of a mana pool. So like, eh, if you want to go coal versus diamond on this, but either way, like, that's an option, right? Um, and then there's like a bunch of other things that we can eventually get for the Alchemy Catalyst. So that's good news. So I'm pretty sure that means Alchemy Catalyst is our immediate available future. Nice. And I assume it's just something like that. And then we'll start. Zzz, and that's pretty neat. That's cool. Now you're not going to also haunt, I assume, right? I'm, I'm assuming that. I'm assuming there's very few recipes that can both be haunted and energized. So I think it'll be okay that I'm reusing the same depot for both processes. If we ever run into a recipe where that does become a problem, I guess we'll deal with it. Uh, that's a thing that'll happen eventually. Cool. So Electrum, check. Um, now, why did I want Electrum? I kind of forget. Um, but what I do want to get is this stuff, right? So uh, I would like to get my Tier 2. Oh, that's right, because, uh, no, I need uh, mana-infused copper, quartz gear, other stone. Yeah, so let's get, like, this up and running. Uh, so this shouldn't be too bad. We're just going to need some more of you. So I'm going to want you. I'm going to want a Spirit Attuned Gem, which is a diamond. I think in total I'm going to need three of these. So this is going to use all my diamonds, right? We are ultimately going to eventually need a gas tier. We are ultimately going to need a mana-infused copper dust, which is just copper dust. Which uh, I'm sure I could go get from my buddy. Hey, there we go. Quest complete. Hooray! Over here. How's I haven't actually checked on this in a while, but I assume you're still working and being good. Haha! <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful, right? And then he's going to start uh, cracking away. And then I can add copper dust to the pickup, right? And one of you is going to come with me to go get manned up. And I might, what I think I'm going to do is right here, I'm gonna add a new muffler noise. Uh, so right here, and then the anchor will be like a radius of like four. 
Um, and what noise is this? Block. No. Stone button. Nope, not those. I don't think it's craft or click, right? No. What noise are you making now? It's a different noise. I think it's like something to do with a dropper. All right, I'm gonna have to figure out what noise that is. Block, dispenser, and dispenser fail. Oh, there we go. That's cool. All right, because it, it makes the ticking noise if there's nothing um, to drop, which is, you know, not great. Not terrible, but also not great. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do the things, right? So you're gonna come in here, you're gonna be cool now. Again, with all the things, and look how full we're getting. This is why I'm doing this. My, my thing's getting full here. But this should give me like a lot more storage, which will be cool, right? And I could eventually get a tier three and eventually a tier four, but for now, making a tier two should hold me over for a while. I think, we'll find out. Um, so then I just need a quartz gear, which has to be done that way, which shouldn't be a big deal. I'm liking, I'm liking where I'm at right now. Like everything feels very doable. Um, like I'm not, everything's very easy anymore, which I like. Cool. Okay, so that's that, 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 and that. Now I need to get my Spirit of Tune gems. And then I need um, this guy. So for him, we're going to get our blue book. And I know I'm gonna need two of these, so I'm just gonna get them. And then we're going to need, like, I'm just going to get a stack of that. Like, it's a lot of white dye, but maybe I shouldn't. I went a little overboard, but that's okay. We have a lot of bones, so I'm not too worried about, about nothing there. Okay, so you guys combine, and then we should be cool to do this, right? Um, I don't know for sure which of these things I need to use, but we'll find out. So for this guy, it's Ezephius's Spectral Compulsion, which is which one? This one. Is that this guy? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Easy peasy. I just need to borrow some candles from, how about over here? And that would be you and you. And that would be you. Cool. And then it is the quartz gear. Boom. Um, the dust, the gem, and the pedestal. The dust, the gem and the pedestal. Now you guys need to turn into other world gems for me. These are all my diamonds, but like I said, we can get more. Because I need two for the next upgrade, right? Beautiful. And now while that's cooking, let's get ready for number two. So that's just gonna be a block of silver, which I assume is just as easy as you would expect. And then those two, and a gas tier. And then I'm just gonna need my purple, or this book, right? And that's just gonna need some cactus dye, which I can smelt over here-ish. By the way, how's this thing behaving? Is he groove? No, he keeps breaking. Keep breaking. Stop breaking. I, I will have to come up with a solution for why that breaks. I don't know why it breaks. Something's something's coming up somewhere. That's all I can tell is you. Throw some more cinnabar in there. I don't know that we'll need that much, but it'll be fine. You guys should be done by now. Thank you. Which means this is cool. And that's coming up on done. 
So for this one, it's going to be Stryger's higher binding. So which one's Stryger's higher is binding? This one. Okay. Do we have this one? Not quite that, right? Not quite that. Do we feel like that's similar? This actually might. Uh, with with minor changes, these are similar, right? I think we can make that happen. Yeah, all we need to do, I assume that the purple, right? And then some candles. Hey, storage, woot. Yes, candles. And then some of those, uh, some of these things I have to borrow. And I think I've got two more of them, right? Yep. Oh, I actually had two Spirit of Tomb gems. Oh, well, probably should have checked that before I made more, but okay. Life goes on. And then I want you guys. Come over here. And I feel like there's supposed to be candles somewhere. There they are. Here, 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 and there. Now, what am I missing? What indeed am I missing? Uh oh, rustling nearby. Let's go, goat. Bring it. Bring it! There he is. Nope. Thank you. I was hoping for a thing, but that's okay. I'll take what I get. Uh, so yeah, what am I missing, actually? Um, oh, just the, uh, the yellow chalk. That's what I'm looking for, yellow chalk. Ding, beautiful. Okay, so now with this good, we can make the tier two one, which is going to be, we actually need a fifth pedestal for this. So sacrificial bowl, we're gonna need a fifth one. Right, and it's gonna be one, two gas tier, block of silver, and the tier one dimensional storage, and then you. All oh, right, I have to do this bit first. I always forget that part. All right, uh, and we'll come back when that's done. All right, so uh, hey, dimensional storage tier two complete. Let's pop down here. And uh, place it up. So what have I been doing? Two blocks and then this dude. So that should boost me. Oh, look at that. Almost doubled. Almost doubled. That is awesome. So uh, like tier one dimensional storage gives you uh, 256. Tier two gives you 512, right? And then tier three is 1024 and tier four is 2048. And you can have... I guess a total of four, maybe five, I guess, if you had one above. I don't know if one below works, but maybe it does too. That's, you know, it is what it is. But long story short, we have like way more storage now, which is cool. All right, so that's done, that's done, that's done. You're all complete. Um, these things are nice to have eventually. Let's start looking at like what our next layer of progression really looks like. Um, so if we jump back into this guy, uh, like, all done up here, right? I do want to look into this whole source condenser thing. Because uh, I think that's where I would get, like, liquid source from. And I know that's going to be used for, like, some other stuff at some point, right? Like, there's all kinds of use cases for that, including getting fuel for Ad Astra, right? So that's how we get to space. Let's hold off on that, though, because I still want to more focus on this chapter down here. So let's look at... Um, so you need to come off of this. So you molten silver bucket, what are you waiting on? 
magma crucible. I need to get a magma crucible. So that's going to be the next um, big task for me. So I can get, I guess, liquid metals, uh, like liquid silver, for example. Man, look at all this like to-do list stuff that I haven't cleaned up in forever. Like this is all done. All of this is pretty much done, right? I'm just going to remove it all from the list. There's nothing I'm waiting on anymore at this point. I just want to like clean out the list of to-dos and get back to basics. Cool. So Magma Crucible uh, is going to need a little bit more Invar um, gears. So that should be easy. And Invar is easier now because we have the induction smelter. So that's cool. Uh, we're going to need you and you. So we're gonna want some more iron. Let's just get a stack. I'm gonna get this crafted and then we'll be back. Deal? All right, so easy peasy, redstone flux, magma crucible, and we're good to go, right? Not too shabby. So quest completed magma crucible is good. Means I can start, you know, magma crucibling things. We should also like maybe start to consider the whole um, magnetic power thing soon-ish. I don't see them telling me that I need to do it here, but at some point I'm assuming we're going to want to get away from like the one one off little like, you know, and and getting into where is it? Uh progress powering up this thing. Um the generator coil, right? Like block of andesite alloy doesn't look terrible. Um carbon brushes also doesn't look terrible. We need overcharged iron which we can get now and then deep slate is, you know, we have an unlimited amount of, so that's Actually, not bad. And then we can get like MV wire stuff. And I mean, this might be one of the things we're going to want to look at like really soon, like really, really soon. Because if we look at the de generator coil and we like ponder it, we'll see that there's like a whole thing here, right? Um, I don't know if those bits are required, but my understanding is like we rotate the generator coil with like rotational energy like a diesel engine or something, um, and then it generates electricity. So that might be better than what we're doing today. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll have to play with this and see how this thing works, right? So at this point, oh, okay. And then higher tiers of magnetic coil are higher. Okay, as the efficiency increases, the amount of SU used by the generator coil increases. Got it. Okay, that's cool. So it's like... There's higher tiers of the magnetic blocks around it to increase. Do not generate rotation, only electricity. Right. Yes. Cool. Okay. Definitely something to look at. Maybe next episode? Should we start looking at that next episode? I feel like that would be cool. But for now, because we still, like, you know, want to... I'm just going to stick you... I don't want you connecting to any of those things, so I'm going to stick you here for now. Okay? Uh, and then we should have some extra enriched peat that we can toss in here to help out oh actually we're like pretty good in that point sweet okay so with magma done uh that means we can get molten silver bucket right so uh let's just validate what that looks like real fast so it's 125 good the numbers are no longer kind of dumb so that means eight silver equals a bucket so let's see what this is leading us down to. Okay, so that's quest complete there. And then that leads to bucket of acetyl hydrine, which is ethanol plus molten silver. Cool. So ethanol we know we have like infinite of, right? Uh, and molten silver, and then that'll lead to doubling it in a fluid mixer, which is ready to go right here right so by the way are you done you are so here's my trick you ready shove this over here move this guy here put this dude here and now i get back my mineral resin clever dyer is clever right now how about ethanol i wouldn't mind having a tank ready to go with some ethanol like just to snag as needed kind of deal so if i were to grab a tank here right can i get a smaller tank smaller tank might be cool Right, what do we got by way of smaller tanks? So you can do 32, you can do 32. Uh, is there a smaller tank? Skystone is 16, but we don't have access to it yet. I Can we like interact with this with a bucket? Um, 
I don't know. I always get nervous about that because like certain ones you can't. 16 for the common black hole tank. I might just go with the 32. That's fine. Okay. So yeah, tank, where'd you go? Let's get our shovel, which we're going to need a new one of soon. Okay. Um, so if I were to like... So we have a lot of ethanol in these pipes. I'm assuming that this is like each pipe has 29. Am I right about that? No, actually the whole, the whole, all the pipes combined had 29. Okay. I mean, that's fine. All right. Um, so what I'll do instead, what if we did like this, right? And then we had a mechanical pipe. And then we had you do that, right? Um, so then you've got two buckets chilling in your pipe here. We've got those there. And then I can manually grab a bucket. Um, do we have extra buckets or am I? Nope. No, we don't. But I just made a bunch of this. So we should be cool to do that. And then we can do bing. And bang. And that will get us, I'm pretty sure, two buckets of acetyl, that stuff. And for the quest, I just need a bucket of it, right? So now we are done with the quest. Cool. And then that can be used to make phenolic resin and volatile redstone. Okay. Um, which comes from... Acetyl highly of that, and that's 250, right? So one to one, but it also needs some decent temperature. But we can do temperature. We're good on temperature and pressure here. That's not a problem. So both of these can be come out here, right? Still stilling the distilled. Volatile redstone needs to be stilled into redstone acid and destabilize redstone for further processing. Fractioning still is in our future there. And then what? Destabilized redstone can turn substrates from mechanism into redstone acid. Am I reading that right? Or is that is that an output? That might be an output. Yeah, that's an output. We will occasionally get substrates. And that's going to be used. And then that bucket of redstone acid, right, is going to be used for... So it looks like we're going to need an uh, immersive engineering mixer to get the etching acid that we're going to need for etching PCBs, right? And then destabilized redstone is going to be used for empty PCBs. So that is going to be this fluid encapsulator uh, or yeah, destabilized redstone logic circuit, empty PCB. Cool. But I think before we get to that point, we want to be able to make logic circuits. So for that, we're going to need phenolic resin, which is acetylhydrine, which is what we just made uh, and latex, which we have right uh, in a not amazing ratio. But I guess if we did three, right, or four, would four be good? I think. Three. Um, if we did three, no, that wouldn't be right. I think we want four, right? And then that would be um, 21 plus 200. No, that's even not great. Uh, 750, right? Yeah. Two would be 1,500. Four would be 3,000. Yeah, no, that's right. 20 is what I was going to do. Yeah. So four buckets of that. And um, right. Okay. And then, yeah, that looks cool. So let's get more of that. So phenolic resin is what I need. I need more acetylhydrine. And that's also going to be in a fluid mixer. So how are we? Um, okay. And then that should be my phenolic resin for the most part. Uh, I think we probably need like one more bucket of acetylhydrine. Is that right? For the ratio, right? But I'll just shift it over in a sec and fix it with a, with an empty tank. We'll probably have to do some like temporary buffery type things. And we're going to need a dispenser upgrade, which I can borrow the other guys if I want to. Do I have the stuff for this? I don't I have to make more of these, which is just water and lapis, right? Yeah.
And that's cool. Okay. So you're making my phenolic resin. Um, perfect. Cool. Did I reverse that? Oh, it's the acetyl. Oh, the latex I need. Okay. Yeah, my bad. Okay. So then I can snag these two buckets. I can shift this over. I can get myself another bucket with the iron plates that I'm clearly going to need even more of. Always need more iron plates, right? Okay, one, two, three. And then you can go over there. You're done. I can make my dispenser. Upgrade. You will click on that side, and now you're going to dump that extra acetylhylate, that stuff, into there. Cool. And now that I've got my phenolic resin, I should be able to get duroplast sheets, but apparently I need a fluid encapsulator first. But that's okay, because we knew we needed a fluid encapsulator soon anyway. So what's involved in making this? A reservoir charm, huh? Uh, stores fluid and refills equipped. Okay, cool. That's pretty doable, I think. We need cured rubber, though. That's going to be a thing that we don't currently have. What else do I need? Uh, I'm going to need another one of you, which means I need more uh, of these. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, but we will need more steel plates. You almost done? You are. Perfect timing. Look at that. Okay. So let's get... Um, do we have overcharged iron? We do. Good. So while that's cooking, get one of you. Get one of you. Oh, we're low on redstone, too. I guess dust sifting is in my future? Probably. I'll be back once I get this crafted. Deal? Yeah, be right back. I'm going to make a bunch of dust. Not for nothing, but, like, all these things are running just fine, and we still have plenty of capacity available. So, like, just saying, everything's cool and awesome. Are you running now? Because I feel like you should be running. Yeah, you keep breaking. Why do you keep breaking? Stop breaking. I don't know what that's about. I think it's because it's, like, flickering on and off, and my guess is what happens is, like, it starts before this finishes, and it thinks it's competing. So maybe what I do is change this up. So, like, that flickering is what's causing the break. There's It doesn't like me flickering this on and off so much. I need to fix that. That's that's probably a me thing to fix. All right, I think I'm pretty close here. Uh, we just have to look at cured rubber next, which I don't quite know how to do. So I wanted to look at that with you guys while that craft occurs. So that should be everything except the top thing, right? So now we got to figure out this. What's cured rubber look like? Because I can make this, right? Cured rubber is smelted rubber. Fair enough. Energized smelter. Yeah, that's cool. Induction smelter can also do it, and it gets a little bit of a bonus. Vines, if we can find them. Um, or a latex bucket, which I can absolutely get. Hello, I happen to have one right here. Thank you very much. I actually had, like, I was like, what do I do with all this extra latex I accidentally got? Now I know. Okay, easy peasy, right? That's super easy. Um, so now we should be cool, and you guys are done. Boom. Boom. I guess I grabbed an odd number of stacks. That's okay, I'll fix. Okay, and then you're cool. You go in there. You're ready to go. And now we have a fluid encapsulator, which number one is a quest complete. And number two uh, is going to be needed for this duroplast, right? So 200 millibuckets with paper, which should not be a problem because all the sugar cane in the world is ours. And now you just also need... Well, I wasn't going to put you there. I was more going to put you there. But you, with this phenolic resin. Now, is there anything else phenolic resin is used for? The answer is basically no. One paper to one duroplast sheet or filling buckets. So literally just all the duro, all the phenolic resin we make just goes into making duroplast sheets. Full stop. Don't even have to think about it, right? No sense in saving anymore. Um, cool. Cool, cool. And what was acetyl again? It was molten silver and ethanol. Okay. So maybe we do more molten silver. Just to like balance things out. 
See, look, it broke again. This time it was this one that broke. And again, I think it has to do with the flickering. It seems to break when we're at the point where like we're close to full, but we're flickering. And that's the bad times, right? Cool. Now you're making that, and you're making this, and everybody's cool. Modern materials. Quest complete. Huge progress today, right? And then you're dumping all your acetyl stuff into there, which is cool. Beautiful, right? Dispenser upgrade for the win. And then if we need more, we'll get it, right? It shouldn't be too bad to get more in the future. Perfect, perfect. Everybody's nice and balanced. We have a decent amount of this, 2,500 millibuckets. So Duroplast Sheet is now done. Volatile Redstone is still on the to-do list, but that's okay. Uh, now we need Circuit Back Panes, which is just that plus Copper Plate. So that seems pretty easy, right? We've got plenty of copper. And remember, we still have all the raw processing to do, which is awesome because it's fully, fully automated at this point. We should find a use for some of the stuff that we're not using at all. That would be cool. Salt, glowstone. Yeah, I'm sure there's stuff, right? Whoops. Now, are Duroplast sheets used for anything else? So they are for that, or advanced electronic components do use them as well. Um, and the dissolution chamber they're used to make the simple thing. Okay, cool. So we should uh, maybe not go too crazy on this one. In fact, what I think... Magic... I feel like because my, like, crafting table was over there, I could pick this up and bring it over there too because i really don't need you anymore and i really don't need you anymore so would it be fair to like ditch them and do something like this and that and that and that and then we can get one two three four to start with and we'll see if we need more quest completed oh look at all this there's all kinds of other things i just completed by mistake oh boy are we going into like a completing all the quests thing <laughs> i don't know what do we just do? Is it immersive? I bet there's an immersive chapter. Don't know where those guys were just now. I just did something. That's all I know, right? So now I can get an automated engineer's workbench. Crafting with the workbench in bulk is great. However, automation is key. Cool, okay. So that seems optional. And then over here, logic circuit, this is the next piece. We're gonna want the logic circuit ready to go. We're gonna need more copper wire, which should not be a problem because we have the rolling machine. We just have to decide where that guy's gonna live. Um, I could put him here, right? Still the stress is fine. That actually uses a lot of stress. That uses a real lot of stress. That's okay, I like how fast it is. Cool, right? So that's neat. Okay, and that completes that. I don't know how many of these we need, so I'm getting like a couple extra, and then we'll see. So it looks like my next step is to get an empty PCB now, right? And that's going to be fluid encapsulating the logic circuit I just made, which, by the way, can be making lots of other cool things. Um... It seems like it's uh, a part of a few things, like crafters from RF Tools Utilities. Um, it plays a role in the mechanical squeezer, plays a role in building gadgets, and even better, it plays a role in exchanging gadgets. I already have a building gadget, but I don't have an exchanging gadget yet. Um, yeah, lots of cool stuff, actually. Um, like it, like it, like it. Logic programmer, that'll also play a role in the assembly programs, yeah. And then we can get basic control circuits with mineral resin. That, like, that's... That's attainable. To, we have mineral resin, right? So we can absolutely do that. So does that mean we can, like, get into some cool stuff? Maybe. Why is that so cheap? It's like a thing we can totally make right now. Because quantum fluid is just liquefied source, right? Yeah, it's kind of doable. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Definitely some some stuff we can get into i'm just saying does that mean we can like get into get into mechanism what's involved in you steel plate osmium ingots mm, osmium might be a thing we need to hold all i don't see looks like the only way we can do this is arc furnace so osmium might be the gate um platinum dust looks like it maybe leads to osmium 
We'll have to look into that. And platinum dust is what? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Looks like platinum is like a whole chapter. Here we go. Eisenium dust. Oh, fabrication matrix. Where am I? Is this chapter three? Yeah. Chapter three leads to osmium dust. Okay, good to know. I was just checking. So I think now is about a good wrapping up point for the episode. So let's wrap it up here. Uh, we'll come back next episode and we'll pick up where we left off getting ready to go with empty PCBs. Now that's going to need like all that stuff, but we have to get this, uh, this redstone fluid stuff first. So deep stabilized redstone is like the first step and that's going to need volatile redstone, um, which we know we can make with our acetylhydrine and redstone, right? So no big deal there. For now, wrapping up point. That was my sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.